Well, good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to the Guinness Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something special for you. Amen. Yes. Because you are special. You're a special child of God. Amen. If you don't see yourself that way, it's time to change that attitude. Amen. We're going to be talking about attitude. If you're going to catch an attitude, catch a winning attitude. Amen. Catch an attitude of being a can-do person. We're going to be talking about, well, I can't. Well, just get rid of that. You are a can-do person. Amen. See yourself that way. Amen. So praise God. Before we uh, get uh, too far ahead, grab your Bibles. Grab your sword. Soldier of God. Warrior of God is warrior, not warrior. Amen. A lot of us are, are warrior champions, you know, but we're supposed to be warriors for God. Amen. That's what we are. Praise God. See yourself that way. See yourself the way he sees you. You know, it's time to stop seeing yourself the way the world sees you. Amen. Quit putting yourself down. Amen. Pick yourself up. We're going to talk about that too. Amen. But grab your sword and say it like you mean it, church. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a new person in Christ. I'm a new person. Amen. You know what? That's one of my favorite scriptures. Let's go here. St. Corinthians 5.17. Ooh, amen. That's not our text, but uh, amen. We're studying from the Word of God, amen. So if you don't have a Bible, grab one. <laughs> if you don't have a Bible, you can mark up, highlight, uh, personalize, and put that one aside and get you one that you can. You know, I saw a nice little thing on uh, uh, one of my memories on Facebook that says, uh, <laughs> has a real dusty, dusty, dusty Bible. <laughs> and it they wrote on the on the top of it it says read me <laughs> you know what you got to do when you read the bible you got to open it up or you maybe you've said it before you said you know god never talks to me but you got this dusty bible uh -huh. read me amen he wants to come in how does he come in open your bible amen. open the door and let god come in amen <laughs> come on Praise so you gotta you know a lot of times you see yourself when you see yourself in the mirror that's your biggest problem we got to make adjustments here. We got to change priorities here. Amen. Yeah. And we got, we, we have to change that attitude. Amen. So are you there? Yes, sir. St. Corinthians, right after uh, 1 Corinthians. <laughs> uh, come on now. Don't throw no stones at pastor. <laughs> St. Corinthians 5, 17 says what? Therefore, if any man, man or woman, okay, if any man be in what? In Christ, what? He is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. This is good. So, when you put the past behind, let it go. We're going to be talking about that. Yes. Let the past go. Let all this stuff go. Okay? You got great memories, but guess what? Get, let the past go. Amen. So, praise God. It says, that, and all things are of God and have reconciled us to become uh, to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. So don't say, you know, God never called me. Yes, see, you got a calling on your life. Amen. And we're yeah. supposed to go and bring the good news to a bad world. <laughs> you got the good news in you. Yes, you have to go and do your part. Amen. I'm a minister of reconciliation. It also tells us that we're his ambassadors. We're, you're his mouthpiece going somewhere to happen, bringing the good news of God. Amen. So, come on now. Now you have an assignment. <laughs> You've got an assignment. On a daily basis, you have an assignment to go and do for him. Amen. So, we're going to continue with our message, uh, part two, on pressing up onward and upward. Amen. <laughs> we're moving on up. Just like the Jefferson songs on the TV. Yeah, yeah. we're moving on up. Guess what? Hey, we're moving on up to better things with him. Amen. If you're still uh, doom and gloom and sad, something's wrong. Because <laughs> the word of God ain't going to keep you that way. 
The word of God is going to keep you happy. It's going to keep you uh, 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 going on and being, uh, it says, be glad, be joyful, amen, in, in him because he's given us a new day to serve it. Well, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but I just want to encourage you, child of God, to continue this race, this mission that he's called you to. He wants to keep, wants us to keep pressing onward and pressing upward with him, amen. Keep growing, keep glowing, keep going to take on all that he's called us, that he's given us, amen. He's given us all these things. He says, I supply all your needs. I'm your yeah. God. And he, you know what? We look to him mm -hmm. for all things. He says, with, with him, all things are possible. Without him, it's impossible. Yeah. Amen. So with man, all things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Amen. We're just going to review a few things. And our text, of course, is uh, uh, Philippians chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. I mean, 13 and 14. So you can open your Bibles. You can read. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, okay? Already written down here. So open your Bibles. Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. It says, Brothers and sisters, do not consider that I have made it my own yet. Mm. It says, But one thing I, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. You can point. This is me. I, mm -hmm. I need to do something. One thing I do is forgetting. Yeah. Forgetting. The lot, uh, what lies behind, uh -huh. forgetting the past, yeah. amen. So you know the enemy, people are going to remind you of your past, amen. Maybe you had a bad one, just like pastor. <laughs> but you know what? Is if God is forgiving you, then we need to forgive ourselves and we need to press on, amen. And if the enemy keep bringing this up to you, then you say, well, you know what? You need to bring it to my God because uh -huh. I gave it to him. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. So I do forgetting what lies behind or the past and reaching forward to what lies ahead. Yeah. It says once again, verse 14 starts with I. I need to do something. Yeah. Amen. You know, God's done what he's going to do. Jesus yeah. done what he's going to do. Yeah. I have a part to play. And I need to do what the Word of God tells me to do. That's why it's so important you open it up and see what the Word of God says. This is the truth that's going to set you free yeah. from all these mindsets, from all these traditions, mm -hmm. from all these lies. Mm -hmm. But you have to get into it and read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Not once a year, <laughs> not twice a year, mm -hmm. but daily. Yes. As often as possible, open it up and read it and study it meditate on it. Yes. Amen. So I press onward towards the goal to win the heavenly prize on the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. This is for you. This is for me. This is for a child of God. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yes. You know, be careful who you listen to. You know, people are just going to vent out. Don't just go vent out on anybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. It says forget the past. Press onward. Press move upward. With a winning attitude on a daily basis. Pressing on with a winning attitude as Jesus, as the apostles, as the Bible heroes did. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now include yourself. Me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to press on with this winning attitude. Yeah. Why? Because you're on God's team. Yeah. If nobody ever told you, you know, if you're watching or if you're listening, you're on God's winning team. Yes. God has no losing about it. Amen. He said he was going to die, and he, he was crucified, buried, and he rose up. Yes. So we serve a risen Savior. Yes, we do. The King of kings and Lord of lords, amen? Uh -huh. And we're on his winning team, and you're on his winning team. So see yourself that way. Start uh, reminding yourselves who you are, whose you are, amen? Woo. And you yeah. remind the enemy also, and let yeah. him know. Because when you know who you are, then you're going to step out in faith. Uh -huh. You're going to step out in authority. Yes. Amen. Knowing who you are. Amen. Say, yes. wait a minute, devil. Uh -huh. You ain't going to have me no more. That's it. Amen. You're going to put him on the run. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Winning attitude is, is available to all believers. This authority is available to you all the time. Amen. But you have to know. And you have to get the word in you and speak the word. Amen. It's your choice. You could be a Christian and have everything about the things of God mm -hmm. and be defeated. 
because you choose to be defeated by not saying anything. Amen. So I'm not going to be a defeated Christian. Amen. We can do all things through him. And all things are possible through him. Amen. Matthew 19.26 says this. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With man it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Amen. But with God all things are possible. Mm -hmm. So know whose you are. Yes. Amen. Know whose you are and who you serve. With him all things are possible. <laughs> you say, well, I can't do it myself. That's right. You cannot. Yeah. Amen. And how many times we've said this, you know, if you're just going to be a part-time Christian, you ain't no match for a full-time devil. That's right. So don't go out there have stepping, you know, mm -hmm. because, you know, every time you step out, you're going to meet some giants. Yeah. Just like David. <laughs> he stepped out and he saw some, 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 uh, mm -hmm. uh, he saw Goliath. He saw the giant. But guess what? He was ready. Yes, he was. Amen. He was ready. He prepared himself. We need to prepare ourselves on a daily basis yeah. as we step out. Yeah. Because those giants are there. But you know, those giants are going to run when they see you huh. stepping out in faith and huh. stepping out in authority and stepping yeah. out what God has called you to do. That's right. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. Just some uh, quick things. I want to encourage you to start every day rejoicing, being glad, pressing yeah. onward and upward with a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. It could be doom and gloom outside, but guess what? <laughs> I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it because God woke me up. Say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. <laughs> he didn't have to, but he did. So guess what? If he, if he woke you up, that means that you're still on this mission. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and I need him to fulfill my mission. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And he's going to put people around you that's going to help you yeah. in your destiny. Yeah. Amen. Some people come and go. But you know what? He puts people there just to help you fulfill whatever mission yeah. he's given you to do. Amen. Yeah. So, here we go. <laughs> shout, have a shout of victory. <laughs> Amen. Don't be shy. You know, uh, there's a lot of football games on today is Sunday, you know. And everywhere, <laughs> I mean, they don't have too many people going to uh, stadiums. But give what? Wherever you're watching it, your favorite team, whatever team it is, the score is a touchdown. And you're going to shout. And you're going to jump up. And you're going to do all kinds of crazy things. Mm -hmm. But for Jesus... We're so quiet. <laughs> have a shout of victory. Because I'm a winner. And we have victory in Jesus. Amen. So be stirred up. Nobody, don't don't wait for somebody to come stir you up. Because guess what? There may not be nobody to come stir you up. That's right. That's Amen. Right. <laughs> you got to stir yourself up in him. Have a pep in your step. And walk in faith. Step out in faith. You know what? When fear comes with knocking. That faith answered the door. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> faith is going to answer the door for you. He says, I, that's not for me. You got to go somewhere else. Because I know whose I am. And I know who I am. Yeah. And, and, and him, you know. And I'm on a special mission. And faith, I mean, fear, a fear you got to go. When you're, full of, when you're full of the word, you're full of faith. So fear has no room for them. Right. Amen. You got to say, you got to go somewhere else. Faith answer the door. And fear is gone. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so walking in faith. Why? Because 1 John 4, 4 says what? You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he that's in the world. He's greater. Yeah. He's greater. Yeah. Bigger of, than all our cares. All our anxieties. All our problems. Yeah. All our sicknesses. Including coronavirus yeah. all your setbacks all your failures yeah all and any lacks you know people are going to remind you of all your setbacks of all your failures and they're going to try to keep you there forever but you know what it's time to get above that yeah and just say well, i'm not i'm not there anymore people are going to say still label you but don't uh -huh. let them label you i'm a winner i'm not yeah. a loser i'm a winner i'm not a failure You're amen right. you have to say it. it's got to come out of you yeah. And you got to start acting that way. And you got to catch this new attitude, a winning attitude. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of God. And we got to keep on pressing upward and onward with a new attitude. Amen. And what's your new attitude? I'm a can do person. Yeah. Amen. I'm a can do person. We used to be, well, I can't do it. <laughs> Remember, I told you, uh, God called Moses to go lead his people. He says, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Just about everybody he can call, you know, and say, I can't. 
Amen. Yeah. We got to have an attitude when he called the disciples, you know, to go come follow him. You know, they dropped what they was doing. Mm -hmm. And they just took off after yeah. him. Yeah. We need to have that kind of attitude. Yes. You know, say, you know, hey, I'm going to press on with God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press on with him. Jesus came by. Say, but you don't understand. We, we've got a business here. Mm -hmm. And you want us to follow you? He says, you follow fishing for, for, for fish. I want you to make, make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. Well, that's us. We're fishers of men. Yes. And we got to just drop what we're doing and pursue. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go. Yes. He's God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. You know, and sometimes we got some up and down, hopefully more ups and downs. But still, he's the same God. He yes. changes now. Right. So we need to remember this. So we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Change not. You know, say, hey. I'm going to get back up there. Amen. Be a can-do person. The Bible says Philippians 4.13. And if you, don't, if you don't know this, go to your Bibles and see what it says. Let's go there. Philippians 4.13. I've got it right here. But uh, let's open our Bibles. I mean, that's what we're here for. We meet and we read our Bibles. We study our Bibles. Uh, Philippians 4. In verse 13. Mm -hmm. I don't know what translation you have. Hopefully you got King James. Or study it in different translations. Amen. Philippians 4.13. Uh, chapter 4 verse 13 says what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Mm -hmm. So. The uh, Amplified says this. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Amen. Ooh, man, that's awesome. You know, I'm a can-do person. I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Wash out all the memories mm -hmm. of negative stuff, you know, that yes. you can't do because you are can-do. You know, when God calls you to do something, he already knows you can. Uh -huh. He's. We have to convince ourselves that we can, you mm -hmm. know, because he knows us better than we know ourselves. Mm -hmm. He says, I know you can. Yeah. So I am a can-do person. Praise the Lord. I'm a can-do yeah. child of God. If you're going to have an attitude, why not have a winning attitude? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to have a losing attitude. You think these teams meet today? <laughs> and they go and and one of them just say, well, you know what? We don't have to play this game. We'll we'll we'll, we'll take the loss. <laughs> no, no, they're gonna play to win. Yeah. Everybody plays to win. Amen. Yeah. But don't have a losing attitude because we serve a winning Savior. Yes. Amen. He won. The battle's been yeah. won. Losing and defeat is for the enemy, not for the children of God. That's it. Remember this. This is something we need to know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people going around saying the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure what the Word of God says so you yes. don't receive the negative thing. That's it. And so not this time. <coughs> no, this time uh -huh. we lose. No. Yeah. <laughs> Losing is not in God's vocabulary. That's it. And it shouldn't be in ours. Amen. Losing and defeat is for the enemy, not for the children of God. So what's yeah. yours? Win or lose? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing is, we have free will. Yeah. <laughs> we choose. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you choose to win and not yeah. be defeated. Amen. Amen. So choose to be an onward, upward child of God with a winning attitude. Remember, yes. we're joint heirs with Jesus. We're winners. We're overcomers. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Remember to do your part. Remember, we got a part to do. Yeah. He's done his part. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you doing? Well, I'm waiting on God. Yeah. <laughs> well, God's waiting on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and nothing getting done. Guess what? Yeah. We got to do our part. Yeah. You got a part to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in heaven. Mm -hmm. Jesus sitting in heaven. He said he's interceding for us. Mm -hmm. He loves us. But we need to do our part. We got to yeah. get off our como se llama uh -huh. <laughs> and get involved. Yeah. Yeah. Participate. It's called participate. Yeah. It's called serving. Yeah. We're called to serve. Amen. <laughs> Our part also is to study, meditate, renew, obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is what we need to do. Once you get all these things going, you got to watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. 
Satan is listening. Mm -hmm. The world is listening oh, yeah. and watching. Yeah, and all they're waiting for you is to slip one mm -hmm. time and they'll remind you, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. I thought you was a child of God. So mm -hmm. what happened? Amen. Well, Lord, I did. So I repent. Confess it and get it out and press on. Amen. Yeah. James 1 and 22 says, But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Yeah. So, amen. We got to press yeah. on. Watch your words and your actions. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 18 21 says, What? Mm -hmm. Life or death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Depending on what translation you, you, uh, you read. Mm -hmm. But King James says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Another translation says life and death are in the power of the tongue. Mm. Life and death are in the power of the words you speak. Yeah. So yes. you got to be careful yes. of the yeah. words you speak. Yes. And you got to tame the tongue. Oh. If you don't tame the tongue, you'll be hung by the tongue. Mm. Amen. So you have to be careful. Watch your words and your actions. Yeah. Woo, come on now. Select the right yeah. words to speak daily. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Life or death is your choice. Yeah. Well, I just have to say it. No, you didn't have to say it. Why? Because words are seeds and you just planted yeah. some negative seeds. And you're yeah. going to reap those negative seeds yeah. in your life. Amen. You're sowing seeds in your own garden of life. Uh -huh. Speak God's word. Speaking God's word will change your life. Mm. Amen. So now you're speaking positive. It's going to change your life. It's yeah. going to change your attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now you're being positive. Uh -huh. And now I'm pressing on with him. And I'm a can-do person. Yes. Amen. <laughs> I still got family and friends that uh, remember the old me. <laughs> and they still remember. Well, I remember you. And all you got is bad memories of you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say bad things about you. And try to label you again. Don't let them label you. Say, hey, that's, I'm a new person. Yes. New Amen. creature in Christ. New creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. See, the thing about it is, they still see the same person physically, but I was reborn spiritually. Yeah, amen. So it's an in, inward thing. Amen. They can't see the spiritual side of me. Mm -hmm. They can see the physical side, but they can't see the spiritual side. Yeah, and I was reborn spiritually. Yeah, amen. amen. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. But you know, they can tell by your words and your actions mm -hmm. now. So you got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Come on now. Woo. Praise God. I got some gospel bumps all over me. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Here's another thing. Okay. We talked a little bit about this. God made you an original. Mm -hmm. Don't be a copy. Yeah. You don't have to copy nobody. You know, you want to know what God made you to be? Then go ask Him. Mm -hmm. I spend time with Him. It's called relationship. Uh -huh. When I spend time with Him, I find out what He's called me to be. Amen? And when I be what He's called me to be, uh -huh. I'm going to press on. I'm going to succeed. Amen? I'm going to be a winner. But yeah. if you just go around copying anything and anyone, you know, a parent can say what you say and copy what you say. Mm -hmm. But don't be that way. Amen? Don't try to be like anybody else. Except what God calls you to be. Right, right. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Lord, I'm going to do my part mm -hmm. in this world, in this mission that you sent me in. Amen. And I'm going to do it under you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Right, Amen. Right. Okay, so God made you to be an original. Don't be a copy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Also, don't settle for less than what God made you to be. That's right. Amen. Except winning. Don't accept yeah. losing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't accept what the world tries to make you. Right. Amen. Except what God made you. So don't short yourself. Don't short don't shorten yourself. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way God sees you. Be the winner he's called you to be. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Woo! Praise God. Uh, don't let the cares, don't let people, don't let distractions of this world mm -hmm. label you or change you or uh pull you down. Okay. Amen. You gotta Stir yourself up. Keep yourself up. Otherwise, it's going to push you down. Mm -hmm. People won't pull you, pull, push you down. If you've done this before, don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Lift somebody up. It's easier to lift somebody up than to push them down. Amen? You're just trying to make yourself look better. 
Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make my God look better. Mm -hmm. If I'm being a minister of reconciliation, I'm going to pick people up and I'm pushing them. <coughs> Amen. So remember that. First Peter 5, 7, of course, we've been talking about this, but First Peter 5, 7 in the Amplified says, Casting all cares, all anxieties, all worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. He cares for you, or he cares about you with the deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Amen? So you let coronavirus or any other thing just try to depress you and distract you? Yeah. Um, don't worry about it. Cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because he cares about you. He cares about you so much. Philippians 4, 6 says the same thing, almost. Um, it says, be anxious for nothing or worry about anything. But in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific request known to God. And Lord, I'm giving it to you. Why? Because with him, all things are possible. Without him, it's impossible. I can't right. do it on my own. <laughs> you know, if he's put you on this race, racers, when you race, you change your attitude mm -hmm. and you change your, your, your what you wear. Yeah. You get rid of all the weights. Mm -hmm. And most runners dress like. Yeah. But we're on this mission and we gotta take all this weight, all this sin, mm -hmm. all this distraction, all this worldly stuff and cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of these anxieties, all these cares and worries, cast it on him because he cares for you. Because he wants you to fulfill this race. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you are called by God. Don't say I'm not because you are called by yes. God. And he's equipped you to fulfill and given you what you need to complete this mission that he's put you on. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you ever heard that before. Whether uh -huh. you're watching or you're, you're, you're listening. But you're special to him. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. And uh -huh. he put you here to complete Amen. He put you here to, to complete your mission, not to come short. Amen. Not to fall short, uh -huh. but to complete this mission he's given us. Amen. Amen. Come on now. God created you well. Here. God created you to win. Mm -hmm. Not just spiritually, not just professionally, not just financially, but also in relationship and in purpose in life. Amen. Football Sunday. Vince Lombardi, a lot of you know and remember Vince Lombardi, football coach of Green Bay Packers, is famous for saying this. Winning, winning isn't everything. Mm. It says, it's the only thing. Mm. <laughs> As children of God, we need to remember this. Because we're winners, not losers. We're winners. Amen. See yourself that way. It's time to get it. The world's got it. Mm. First thing the coach wants to develop in his players is what? Mm. A winning attitude. Yeah. You come in there with all kinds of negative things mm -hmm. and losing. He wants to develop a winning attitude. How much more God wants us to have this winning attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he's a winner. What else is he going to have us do? He wants us to win. Yes. But he's given us instruction yes. in his word. And we can't just lay it aside and do nothing That's and right. be by ourselves. You know, we got to open that instruction book yeah. and read it and right. find out what he's Telling us to do and what the instructions for life is to succeed and be a winner. Amen. So he wants you to be a winner. God wants us to have this winning attitude. Know you're a, you're on God's winning team. Mm -hmm. Amen. Know that you're very important. You have a very important part. You're included, not excluded. It says one body, many parts. So you're one of the many parts yes. in this one body. We're his body. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. But there's many parts. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you have a part to play. Amen. This body, this physical body has many parts. Mm -hmm. Some we can see, but some we can't see. They're right. inside. But guess what? Still, they, they function in unity. Yeah. And they function right. And we, as a body of Christ, need to do the same thing. Yes. We need to come together and we need to function in unity and function yeah. right. Amen. So praise God. Be included, not excluded. Also know that you're called to serve and participate, not spectate and judge. Mm -hmm. And we're here to complete one another and not compete against each other. Mm -hmm. What well, is, you know, what part of the body are you? Well, I'm a fingers, that's mm -hmm. all. You know, 
we try to put ourselves down to uh -huh. elevate ourselves mm. you know it doesn't matter we're going to complete yes. this body this physical body all these parts of this physical body tries to compete compete complete mm. this mission that he's put us on and we need to do the same thing in the body of christ complete yeah, yeah. one another and not com compete against each other mm -hmm. if there's all if, if we start if these parts start fighting against each other, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be around. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there would be no more unity. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to drag that on too much more. But anyway, athletes don't train to lose. That's it. You know, you're paying your millions of dollars, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and you're training to lose. No, mm -hmm. they train to win. Yeah. So as a child of God, no, we got to get our priorities uh -huh. right. We got to get our thinking right, mm -hmm. and start doing what He's called us to do. Mm -hmm. And catch the attitude, I'm a, I'm a winner. Yes. You may, may, you may not come across to the public or the world as a winner. Mm -hmm. And people are jealous, so they're going to let you know you're uh -huh. no winner. Uh -huh. And start saying things, but you are a winner through yes. Him. Amen. Amen. See yourself the way He sees you. Yes. Man was created to be a winner. Genesis, just go mark this. Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Mm -hmm. He put us here to have dominion. To have an authority. Amen. He didn't put us here to lose. Right. The man was forced to accept failure uh -huh. as his lot in life. Uh -huh. Amen. Lowering himself in a subordinate lower position. Man accepted a position he never was meant to have. Uh -huh. Amen. So through faith in Christ we can be transformed yes. and made winners once again. Amen. The price has been paid. Amen. Yes. The price is paid. He paid the price yes, so did. that we can have what he's given us. Amen. So that we can complete what he's uh, done. Amen. Yes, he came, com com completed his mission. Yeah. Now we can go and complete our mission. Mm. Lord, I'm on your team. I'm on your winning team. Mm -hmm. I'm here to serve you. Amen. Oh, man. That's awesome. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read you this from... Uh, from the easy to read version, Romans 12, 1 and 2. <clears throat> we need this uh, new winning attitude daily. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, give your lives to God. Verse 1 says, brothers and sisters, because of the great mercy God has shown us, offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him, as offerings that is only for God and pleasing to God. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pleasing to him. Consider what he has done. It is only right that you should worship him and in his, this way. Verse 2 says, Don't change, don't change yourself to be like the people of this world. But let God change you inside with a new way of thinking, uh -huh. renewing your mind daily. Uh -huh. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants you for you. Mm -hmm. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is and what is perfect. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, go to the King James. Open it up to chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Mine starts off with Christian conduct. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And verse 2 says, Be not perfect will of God. Amen. So, you know what? On a daily basis, as often as possible, <laughs> renew your mind. Mm -hmm. Because all these negative things, we, we, we've talked about uh, the battlefield of the mind. And there's a battlefield going on all the time. Amen? <laughs> good, evil, good things, bad things. Mm -hmm. And it's going on all the time. So I need to know, I need to get the word, I need to study, I need to meditate on this word and get it in me. And feed my spiritual side mm -hmm. the word of god renew my 
mind with the Word of God so that I'm not thinking like the world, so that I'm not falling for the negative things the world wants to put on me. Mm -hmm. Amen? But to accept the right things God has for me. Mm -hmm. Amen? So the battlefield is the mind. Amen? And there's good and negative things flowing in there. But we got to renew our minds so that we can get our priorities in order. Amen? Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. So all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. So renew your mind. You know, and you won't go wrong. Yeah. Amen. And you won't go wrong. Renew your mind with the things of God. Yeah. And it says, <laughs> crucify the flesh. No more. Because the flesh wants to do its own thing. Yeah. The flesh wants to take the easy way. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Mm -hmm. If you feed your man, if you feed your spirit the word of God, renew your mind with the word of God, your flesh has to fall. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. It won't be easy. He wants to. Sometimes you might have to drag him, you know, but he's going to come. <laughs> yeah. So your mind, your soul, your mind, will, and emotions, amen? Mm -hmm. So let's let's remember this. That we're going to please him and not the world. Amen. You may not feel like a winner, but you are through him. Yes. You call yourself a loser because Mary fails and sins. Remember, don't say it. You may think it, but don't say it. Mm -hmm. Quit calling yourself a failure. Quit calling yourself a loser. Mm -hmm. You may still think it, but say renew your mind. Yeah. So that if you used to say those things and gave voice to it, why not voice, I'm a child of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of, of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I'm a winner. Yes. I can do all things through Christ. All say these things so that you can hear yourself. Yes. Amen. And you put the devil on the run. You know, he's not afraid of a Bible. He's afraid of the spoken word. He's afraid of how much of the spoken word is coming out of you. Yes. Amen. So now you start speaking it. Amen. Woo, come on now. <laughs> Forget the past. Get a new attitude, a winning attitude. Change. Quit the old ways of thinking. Amen. Quit using the same old excuses. You know what insanity, that definition of insanity is? Yeah. It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Yeah. That's insanity. So we need to stop that. Amen. <laughs> we need to do what the Word of God calls us to do. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the right thing. Amen. That's, that's what we need to do. Again, renew your mind with the Word of God. Base your thinking on the fact that Jesus has overcome the world and we are overcomers through Him. If Jesus can forgive us, and forget our past, so can we. So don't let, don't let your words, your past, your family, or Satan hold you back. You're right. Amen. It's time to press on. Yeah. Press onward and upward. Amen. We're moving on up with Him to bigger and better things. Amen. Praise God. This is a, this is the right thing to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Attitude affects us. Attitude affects your altitude. Mm -hmm. Your attitude will affect your altitude. You soaring with eagles or you wallowing with the pigs? Which one do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to be soaring with eagles. Yeah. He sees you high. He never sees you low. That's Amen. Right. Only time you're low is when you allow yourself to be low. Amen. Your attitude sets the pace for your success. Yeah. What do you think about the situation you face on a daily basis? Victory or defeat? Mm -hmm. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's your choice. I think I, I read this one to you before, but uh, this one we have to be aware of on a daily basis. <laughs> Beware of mission busters. Yeah. Beware of dream busters. Mm -hmm. Well, God gave me this dream, so be careful who you share it with. Mm -hmm. Because jealous people out there are going to tell you right now. They're not going anywhere, but all of a sudden, they're experts. And they're going to tell you, you can't do this. I can tell you right now, you, you won't be able to do this. No, with them and their advice, no. But with Christ, yes, you can do all things. Amen. All things. <laughs> He's giving it to you. But don't let the world or any jealous person be your dream buster. That's right. Amen. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. So people will label, will label you a failure. Don't accept it. This is not what God says about me. I don't have to say anything to them. I just know in me I am going to succeed because of what God tells me to 
And that's not what God has called me. God has called me a winner. Amen. So be that can-do person. Yes. Amen. Refuse to quit and refuse to lose. Don't quit calling yourself a loser. Quit calling yourself a quitter. Mm -hmm. Refuse to quit and refuse to uh, lose. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing is, again, it's your choice. Yeah. Amen. Some people shoot around words very uh, uh, negatively or easily. Mm -hmm. Be careful and be very selective of the words you speak. Amen. So yeah. once again, watch your words, watch your actions. Refuse to stay down. Amen. Stay up. Mm -hmm. This is the attitude most winners must develop. It's, it's time to get up. It's time to press on. Yeah. Amen. It's time to press onward and press upward with him. Don't accept the excuses, but press on. Amen. Yeah. Just like Jesus, just like Paul, just like Joseph, you know, they were put down, uh -huh. but they refused to stay down. Uh -huh. They rose up. Amen. We can do the same thing. Have the same attitude. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. They were stone beaten, shipwrecked, jailed, cast into pits, abused, sold and crucified yet huh. they did not turn away or make excuses that's right amen <laughs> praise god they forgot what was behind them and they pressed onward mm -hmm. the good news is anyone who is willing to change and develop a winning attitude what is your excuse mm -hmm. forget about it let it go amen yeah. and don't try to learn new ones <laughs> that's it i'm sure there's plenty of maybe one day we'll do a sermon on excuses <laughs> see how many we can find <laughs> forget it press on with god uh -huh. amen he wants his best for you do the impossible throughout the bible there are many women who walked with god and did the impossible the bible heroes of faith in chapter 11 are people who maintain a winning attitude even when the time was difficult uh -huh. amen they had a hard time he said, well, somebody so-and-so came and, and told me God can't use me anymore because I sinned. Mm. Is that right? Well, all these Bible heroes this in the Bible were sinners too. Mm. But we need to repent, confess and get it out and press on. Get up and press on. Press onward and upward with you. Amen. Amen. Don't stay down. Woo! Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Embrace change when it will enhance your progress refuse to give up and refuse to quit amen hallelujah i hope uh, this will bless you it blessed me and it stirs me up so i hope it stirs you up and then you know what if it got you mad it's time to make a change <laughs> if it made you mad yeah. so make a change and start serving the winning team not the losing team anymore amen Woo. so jesus won the most important battle he paid the price in full, defeating yeah. Satan and giving us the power, the authority to win in every situation. Yeah. Let's continue to press onward and upward. Continue this race to victory with a winning attitude. Continue yeah. to put God's word first in our yeah. life. Commit, uh, commit it, submit it, and be available for God can use you. Amen. People say he can't use you. I'm a committed, submitted and available for God to use me. Amen. Yeah. All you have to do is change your attitude and be available yeah. for Him to use you. Yeah. That's the thing, you know. Thank you, Lord. Woo. I encourage you to have a winning attitude from this day on. Amen. Each and every day. So, praise God. Amen. I hope that blessed you and blessed me. Father, we thank you for your precious word. I pray, Father, that we receive it and make changes that need to be changed, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Well, if you're watching, you're listening, uh, and you would like to still give your tithe and offerings, you still can. Just go to the donate button. Just press that. If you want to mail it to us, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas. Amen. 79843. Praise let, God. Let Amen. Know they have to go on the, on the website. Huh? Yeah. To, to donate. Right, you got to go to our website, it's uh, NBCBigBand.com, and there's the donate button, it's on the screen if you're watching, amen, if you're listening, uh, NBCBigBand.com, and 
go to press the donate button there. So praise God. If you're watching and you need a healing, he's able to. Amen. God is able to. The Bible says that by Jesus Christ you heal. So whatever the situation may, may be, coronavirus, huh? whatever, it doesn't matter. He says by his stripes you're healed. So receive your healing. Just lay your hands there. Father, I just pray for anyone that's watching right now, listening to me right now, Father God. I pray that by Jesus Christ, they are healed, Father God. Touch and meet that need right now. Body, receive that healing right now in Jesus' name. This is the body. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and we allow no sickness in this body. I command it to go now in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive it. Praise God. Thank you, Lord.